Hello everyone, this is topic 3.11 spectroscopy and the electromagnetic spectrum. This is taken from AP Chemistry College Board. In this video, I'll be telling you what is spectroscopy, what is electromagnetic spectrum and I will also tell you the relation between the spectroscopy and the electromagnetic spectrum. So let's start. First of all, let me tell you what is spectroscopy. So spectroscopy is the study of the interaction of electromagnetic radiation with matter. Electromagnetic radiation is the combination of electric radiation and the magnetic radiations. The matter is composed of atoms and molecules which have further electrons right so when the electromagnetic radiation interacts with the matter it gets absorbed by the electrons of the atoms and this process is called absorption due to this the electrons move from ground state to the excited state after that the electrons come back from excited state to ground state with the emission and this emission is recorded by the spectrometer this spectrometer converts this emissions into the signals which we basically read to analyze the sample so this is the whole process that how a spectroscopy works this is the picture of an atom where there is a nucleus at the center and the electrons are revolving around the nucleus in the energy levels so here you can see that when the electron is absorbing some energy it is going from the ground state to the excited state that is it is going from one energy level to another energy level and after that absorption the electron is coming back from excited state to the ground state that is higher energy level to the lower energy level by emitting some energy so this is the whole process of absorption and the emission so the uses of spectroscopy are it is used in physical and analytical chemistry to detect, determine or quantify the molecular or structural composition of a sample. So basically each type of atom or molecule they absorb a particular kind of wavelength and due to which the absorption takes place and when it comes back it gives out a particular energy these both characteristics tells about the type of the sample so spectroscopy uses these characteristics to deduce and analyze the composition of a sample so spectroscopic technique is an analytical technique which helps us in analyzing the type of atom or molecule now let me tell you what is an electromagnetic spectrum electromagnetic spectrum is a combination of these rays the rays are radio waves microwaves infrared rays visible light uv light x-rays and gamma rays as we are moving from radio waves to gamma rays the frequency is increasing as the energy is directly proportional to frequency so we can say that as we are moving from radio waves to the gamma rays the energy is also increasing and as we are moving from gamma rays to radio waves the wavelength is increasing the fm or the tv these emit the radio waves the microwave ovens have the microwaves the tv remote has the infrared rays light bulb gives away the visible light sun gives away the uv light x-ray machine has the x-rays and the radioactive elements give away the gamma rays you don't have to learn the values of the wavelengths you have to learn the order of these rays according to their frequencies in this figure you can see that these blue lines are the electronic levels it means that when the electrons absorb the electromagnetic radiation it goes from this ground electronic state to the excited electronic state right like this but each electronic level is further divided into vibrational levels so these green lines are the vibrational energy levels 
and each vibrational energy level is further divided into the rotational energy levels which are these red lines so the electrons go from each energy level to another energy level depending upon the type of electromagnetic radiation it is absorbing you can see here that distance between the electronic transition levels is the highest so it means that they need more energy in the vibrational energy levels the energy required would be a little bit lower because the distance between the vibrational energy levels is lesser than that of the electronic transition levels further the rotational transition levels are even closer so this means that these rotational transition levels would need even the lower energy to have a transition so that is why the rotational transitions are because of the microwaves the vibrational transitions are because of the infrared rays and the electronic transitions are because of the uv and visible light because as we are moving from uv to microwaves the wavelength is increasing this means the energy is decreasing as the rotational energy levels are the closest so that is why they need the electromagnetic radiation of the lowest energy but the electronic transition levels are far away from each other so that is why they need the higher energy radiations which are uv and the visible rays so you have to learn this table that which kind of radiation leads to which kind of transitions so the microwaves leads to the molecular rotational transitions infrared rays leads to molecular vibrational transitions and the uv visible radiation leads to the electronic energy transitions please like and subscribe to the channel log iota and press the bell icon